Hi, I'm Christine LaHood. I'm the Team Services Librarian at Timberland Regional Library in uh, Southwest Washington State. And I'm here to talk about book talking. My new book just came out. It's book talking with teens. I think that one of the most important things you can do as a book talker is to embody the joy of reading, the joy of books, the excitement, the challenge, the heartache, and the joy that you get when you read a good book. And you do this by being aligned 100% with the book that you want to book talk needs to be a book that you really, really love. And you don't tell teens you will love this book. You embody that love and that enthusiasm. So in other words, you're not telling teens, you're showing teens. It's one of those old things. And as far as books that are really popular with teens right now, I would say books that put teens in extreme situations. Some of these types of books are science fiction, that kind of speculative, what would it be like if oh, certain social trends continued in a way. So that's why we see the popularity of the Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld, Hunger Games, and it's, uh, I think Catching Fire is the second one, by Suzanne Collins, Unwind by Neil Shusterman. All three of these books put teens in science fiction extreme situations. But science fiction is not the only place where you will find extreme situations. You'll find it in a book like uh, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. You'll find it in a book like Winter Girls by uh, Lori Halsey Anderson. These are books that put teens in extreme situations in the real world, the present day, and do ask those questions, what would it be like if someone you knew committed suicide and she was convinced that you were one of the 13 reasons why she did it? Or what would it be like if you and your best friend were kind of starving yourselves so you would be thin and you almost had a competition over who could be the thinnest and your best friend died? That's the situation in the Winter Girls by Lori Halsey Anderson. And then as far as performing book talks, one of the most important things to do is to keep eye contact with teens. Don't, please don't tape your book talk to the back of the book or even glance up at a, say, a PowerPoint screen where you've got the, the uh, cover of the book. Keep looking into the eyes of teens. Keep that connection. Because actually what you're doing, you and teens are co-creating your book talk performance. You are getting as much from them in their reactions as they are getting from you. And when you have that connection, it's so much easier at the end of your performance to ask the question, well, I've told you about some good books, now I need you to talk about some books that you've read recently and you recommend. At first, dead silence. But all it takes is for one team to talk about one book, and then a second, and a third, and a fourth, and pretty soon the air is flying with titles. You can barely write them down, they're going so fast. And you can slip in a little reader's advisory, uh, like uh, if you like this book, that you're talking about, you might enjoy this other book. It's fantastic because what teens are hearing is they are hearing fellow teens getting all wigged out and excited about books. Not just you, not just their teacher, but their fellow teens, their friends and classmates. That's what really sells reading and books. I hope this has encouraged you and given you some ideas and inspired you to go out there and book talk with teens.